This is New York Living on stage. An off-Broadway production sheds some theatrical light on the war in Iraq and its aftermath. Nir Shazia Khan has more. We didn't see what happened when Marines fired at 16s. We didn't see what happened after mortars landed. Only the pop of smoke. It's politics, performance, and a cry for peace, courtesy of the Worth Street Theatre Company. Artistic director Jeff Cohen developed Voices of Peace and Dissent from Ground Zero as a theatrical protest to the current conflict in Iraq. I've taken things that are current today from news reports, the New York Times, Reuters, news services, and I've interspersed them with quotes from ancient Greeks, from uh, Shakespeare, from Erasmus, from a lot of uh, 20th century, and it's just a way of sort of showing that whatever we're protesting today is in a long line and a long tradition of, of dissent. I also think that expressing dissent is the most patriotic act that anyone can do. A rotating cast of artists and activists participate every Monday night in this weekly anti-war series. British actor Claire Higgins recently spent her one night off from her current role in Vincent and Brixton to perform in Voices. Is there no end to this senseless killing our country is embarked on? I believe in free speech and democracy with all my heart. And I know that America is a country which also believes in those qualities. So anyone who wants to speak, who wants to dissent against current administrative decisions, really must feel free to do that. While the war in Iraq is essentially over, the folks at the Word Street Theatre Company say their mission is not. The hard part is the aftermath. The hard part is what we do next, now that the generals are all pumped up. Do we go and flex our muscles somewhere else? The hard part is what happens in Iraq. Voices is playing at the Tribeca Playhouse, just blocks from the World Trade Center site. I think it's interesting that we are so close to ground zero because as New Yorkers, you know, I watched on that day those events from Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn. And um, uh, this event, uh, what happened in 9-11 has been taken away from us and is being used for a political purpose. And New Yorkers, for the most part, did not support this invasion of Iraq and didn't support the, what's been happening. And it cannot be done in our name, and it cannot be done in the name of 9-11. Aside from raising an awareness about the war and its aftermath, Voices of Peace and Dissent from Ground Zero is also raising money. A portion of the net proceeds will be given to the Peace Development Fund, a national peace organization. Voices of Peace and Dissent from Ground Zero is playing every Monday night at the Tribeca Playhouse on Reed Street. In Tribeca, Shazia Khan, New York One.